The run to turn one. Tom Williamson on the front row of the grid slots in behind. The pulse into Chas Mostert. And look at Nick Foster in the background. Really crowding, but makes a mistake. Oh, he locked his front brakes up there. Very lucky to stay on the track. He's lost a couple of spots. He'll be spewing that uh, Urain's a few spots in front of him. Trent Harrison runs third. We jump aboard with Jeff Urain. Remember, he's fighting Foster for second in the championship. Nearly the whole field trying to take advantage of the race restart. Nick Foster down the inside, making a move and getting through on Jesse Fennick. These uh, safety car periods is exactly what Foster leads because his focus will be on catching back oh, up oh, to oh, Jeff. Oh, Nathan, oh, Nathan Morecambe's Morecambe involved again. in another incident and this time it's fatal for the Rondo car. It's not going any further. Here's the replay. Turn one off the exit curb. Shea Davies there who started down the back of the grid and that is not the place to go. No, you saw the back of his car bottom out, wheels in the air, no control. You need those tyres on the ground to be able to control where you're going. And there's Morecambe as well, <coughs> right rear off the deck. He's got the same problem. <laughs> wheels not going anywhere. You rain a second, looking in the mirrors. This long run down the back straight. Williamson's close enough to get a good toe here. By the end of the straight, he'll be getting a massive slipstream, but I don't think he'll be close enough to have a go over the top of the hill. But have Sandown's all about slipstreaming. Have a look at the way the road rises as they go towards Downing Nog Road corner. Williamson's brave, but there's just not enough room on the, the outside there. You've got to tuck back in and cover the line for the S's. Out of the final turn, and it's another win. The champ has taken race one, Chas Mostert. Gets a victory from Pole here at Sandown. Still a couple of damp patches on the grid here at Sandown. Down to turn one, Mostert and Urain Foster. Massive lock up there at turn one, but he manages to make it through. Exactly the same drama he had in the first lap of the last race, but he did manage to get through. He got a very good start and got past Harrison straight away, so his eyes will be set on Jeff Urain oh. from now on. Foster out of the toe on Urain. This is important. A couple more championship points. Urain goes across the top of the hill and has to slot back in. Yeah, great move. Um, Foster obviously got a big slipstream down the back straight. He'll be wrapped to get in front, but these boys are not going to hold each other up too much and keep their eyes uh, on Chaz Mostert because both of them will be trying to get a race. Duh, pulls out of the slipstream down the Brock straight. And look who's coming from miles back, Ashley Walsh. Yeah, Ash Walsh took advantage of that there. He did a very good job, snuck on past Jeff Urain there. And, uh, you know, as I said before, if these guys aren't careful, they're going to lose, the, lose that second position. Walsh is fourth in the championship coming into this weekend. Probably expected a bit more from him this year in that ball and spectrum is Jesse Fennick. He's a, a young guy who is the Victorian State Formula 4 champ. Did a great job this year and he's mixing it at national level. That's always a really good performance indicator. He's doing a great job straight out of the State Series and he's running with the front runners here in the National Series, which will be great for his confidence, especially if he's doing the whole series next year. Just 17 years of age, he's been getting plenty of help from Tim Macro, who's a very accomplished open wheel driver. This is looking wild. They're fanning out every which way. Ashley Walsh, though, across the top of the hill. Now, turn one. Mostert's getting away. They're not going to catch him at this rate. And Foster's back down the inside. This is just going to go backwards and forwards. Hi, Links. Down the inside. Look at them all wanting to cover. Look at them all racing for the line. Was their wheels interlocking? This is crazy stuff. Urain now dive bombs Foster. Oh, the two Sonic cars side by side through turn one. Mick Riddle will be chewing his nails off here <laughs> watching his two cars dicing like this. Williamson now jumps up the inside, up on the curb. Can't get it done there through what used to be the old pits. So this next run down the back straight at Sandown here, this will decide the race for sure. Whoever goes over the top uh, in the lead out of this group, there's a good chance he'll cross the line in front. Onto the pit straight. Chas Mostert, though, he has smoked him. Another win. He equals Stephen Richards' record of 13 race wins in the season. But who cares about that? It's the fight for second that's going off. Foster over the line. Formula Ford wins in any season had stood for 15 years. Chas Mostert now equaled that record. The final race of the year takes off towards turn one. No surprises to see Chas Mostert out in front. Yeah, no, he's got the starts down pat. He'll have his eyes firmly set on that uh, record of 14 race wins for the year. Have a look at Ashley Walsh, though. He's going to go with him in this final race, 12 laps ahead. Nathan Morecambe right in the middle of the pack. Oh, up over the curb, there's some contact there, Matthew, Matthew Brabham. I was in front of him for the last few races, so he'll, uh, he'll have to push hard to try and get back to the front. He's got the pace though, that's the thing. So Walsh gets back to the lead, Foster, Urain, Mostert. There's Caleb Rain of the 77 car. Walsh has been looking racy since the start. He was right on, uh, right on Chas Mostert's gearbox. And he's a hard charger, we know that for sure. So who's a good chance for this win if he can stay out in front? 
up and over the hill, the heat haze. Look at them all hugging the left of the road. Foster, has he had enough brave pills this morning? <laughs> yeah, they're all brave. I said that before. These guys Nick Foster pushing. has to do something about Jeff Urain for third spot if he's any chance to get the runner-up spot in the championship. Have a look at this. He's pushing Urain down the front straight. Their tyres are separated by three centimetres. He's trying to rip the rest of his bodywork off. He's got no nose cone left, so he's not worried about damaging that. Wow, that was unbelievable stuff from our in-car camera. Urain getting pushed down the front straight. I've never seen teammates be so kind. <laughs> I can tell you. The final lap of the season, down at Dandenong Road corner, Chas Mostert. History's calling. This could be his 14th race win to break Stephen Richards' record. But what about this run home? This has been a cracker race. It's not done with yet. No, Nick Foster's arrowing in there. This is a desperate move if anything happens at the last corner. Oh, he's punted Urain <laughs> on the backside. <laughs> As I said, his nose cone's gone, so he isn't going to damage it any, any worse. Mostert's home. He takes a clean sweep of the final round of the championship.